Hey, I wanted to show you a little experiment I did. This is a small geodesic dome that I built, oh man, maybe four or five years ago. But um, this one is about a 20 foot diameter structure. It's a three frequency, good karma style greenhouse. And originally I built this at about $1.50 a square foot and I used uh, agricultural polyethylene. And the agricultural polyethylene just has no R value to it. So I freeze right away in the fall. And I've not planted in here. It's still early spring. I've not watered since uh, last fall, so nothing's grown up naturally. But um, I think there's a few lessons learned that are valuable to share here. The first thing I did that's kind of interesting is I used about 15 yards of compost of wheat. Actually, it was a uh, discarded wheat from the local co-op. And I put it down on top of um, plastic. So I lined the hole. I dug a huge hole down by hand, kind of a pain, but then lined it with plastic and then put this 15 yards of wheat in there so it could decompose. And underneath, or I guess in that wheat, I guess, no, I take that back, underneath that wheat. So I dug a hole even further underneath that. I put a 250-gallon intermediate bulk container way down there. And that's what this black tube goes to. So there's actually a, a water system down there. And all the water that's on top here that goes down, it goes through that wheat. It goes on that plastic, and it's all funneled down to that 250-gallon intermediate bulk container. So you can capture water and recycle it. It's kind of a smart solution to minimize water wa um, waste. Um, and you can actually see something that's kind of interesting over the last few years What's happened here is that down here you can see how the, the whole, all the wheat's decomposed. And it's actually kind of gone down. It's actually dropped about four inches. So the thought is this. If you have the wheat down there that acts as compost, um, simply the deg uh, degrading process is going to produce heat. So what happens is in the wintertime, you know, the water that's, you know, right underneath this, the water tank, as well as just the radiation through the ground from that decomposition process, it would actually supplement the temperature in the winter. What I noticed is there was a, a temperature difference. Something else that's really interesting, this is slick, is I took some polyisocyanurate insulation and I cut it to size so it could fit through these, into these uh, holes. And this, this is the original UV resistant polyethylene. What I did is I mounted four layer, eight millimeter polycarbonate outside of the polyethylene. And I left this in place because was one of these days I wanted to get around to cleaning it up, uh, spraying, painting it again. So I left it on there as a masking. But regardless, it still works just fine for growing. But what I'm getting at is look at the heat. See, the insulation that I had in here, the polyiso insulation, it kept the heat from transferring in here. But the sunlight would come through the polycarbonate, get trapped with that insulation, and it got so hot that it just melted away the polyethylene. And it just is a tribute to the resilience of polycarbonate. It's just an amazing structure because it's, it really is resistant to heat and to damage and to so many other things that would otherwise uh, give us problems with our constructed environment. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of a slick system. I ended up taking off that insulation. I mentioned I had the polyiso on the north side here. I took it off because, you know, I didn't really need it. There's really no, I had no interest in getting out of here. Uh, so getting out here in the wintertime and dealing with it. So I just took it off so it grows better in the summer. In any event, there's some good ideas uh, that I've done. I actually flood irrigate this. So I have a one-inch um, water line that comes in, and I just turn that on, and it floods. And because there's plastic, I have a, uh, on top of that wheat, I have a, a weed mat. And then on top of that weed mat, I have about four inches of soil. And I just flood irrigate the whole thing. And the weed mat kind of slows down the process of uh, the water uh, going through it enough you could flood the whole thing. So by flooding like that and then recycling the water, um, you, you, just, you can fully saturate your, your crops, the ground, and you just don't throw away any water. So it's kind of a good idea. Anyway, hey, thanks for your time and for watching this. You have a good day.